So you may have noticed something cool inside my inbox as I have been working. Let me show you guys what that looks like. So inside my inbox, you'll see that I have multiple lists of emails. So we've got drafts, I've got Peter to action, Peter to read, starred, filtered, inbox. So this is a feature called multiple inboxes and it is amazingly, amazingly useful to help you to just be a little more productive inside your Gmail inbox. Now, what most people do when they use Gmail is they have what's called the preview pane switched on. And the preview pane is, you know, it comes from Outlook days where you've got on the left-hand side, your list of emails, and on the right-hand side, you've got the email that you've got open. My recommendation is to switch that off because I think it's distracting. Basically, if you always have exciting emails to go and read, or if you're you know, flicking through emails and having like a quick read of them, but not responding to them immediately, then it just can kind of leave you in inbox overwhelm where you don't, you don't get to everything. And so my recommendation is to switch that off. But what we can do inside of our Gmail account in setting up multiple inboxes, this is part of a framework called Getting Things Done by David Allen. And what we're doing is we're separating things that are important now and things that need to be done and specific context around the action of how we wanna action those different emails that come into our inbox. If you think about your letterbox in front of your house or apartment or wherever you live, we don't go to that mailbox and like leave all the letters in there and try and flick through it every day and you know pick out the ones that are important or the ones that are new because that would be impossible, right? Eventually we'd have thousands of you know letters sitting in our mailbox and we'd never get through them. And that's kind of what we do with our inboxes. We just leave it all in the inbox, but what we miss is the context of what's important and what's not important. And with the flood and the deluge of unimportant emails, we can miss some of the ones that actually require timely action. So I'm gonna show you two things that are gonna help you with that specifically. One is multiple inboxes and another is a real kick-ass filter that is gonna help you actually filter some of the junk mail out of your inbox and help you get a lot of a lot more value out of that. Okay, so first up, multiple inboxes, pretty straightforward to set this up inside your Gmail. In your settings here, you, so you just click on your settings on the top right and we've got different views here. So you can see you've got density view Views, and my recommendation is compact, but then you've also got inbox type. So you've got the default inbox type, which is the one, ah, uh, where is it? You probably would have seen, I think I deleted them. Oh yeah, there we go. So normally would have like promotions and social and stuff like that. So I'll just open that up, here we go. So that's the kind of default one that most people get out of the box with Gmail. So like, okay, cool, that's, that's fairly helpful in Google helping you to sort some things, but I wanna make it even more even more useful and even more controlled. So we're gonna change our inbox type to multiple inboxes. And then we're gonna get the option to customize those inboxes. Now, I'm actually gonna do this in my test account so it's fresh, just to show you guys how it is set up. So I'm gonna tick here and go to multiple inboxes, let that change, and then I'm going to customize. So we're gonna click the customize button. Now, what happens here is in the multiple inboxes sections, you can see here we've got section one is starred, section two is drafts. And these are basically the default ones that are going to appear. If you wanna give them a, a tidier name, you can call it starred and drafts, just giving it a label basically. It's gonna ask you how many you want to show, that's personal preference. I like to have it above the inbox, which is the default. You can enable the reading pane, but I would not recommend you do that. And then we just leave save changes there. All right, so that's gonna give us our inbox, but it's also gonna give us drafts and it's gonna give us start as well. Now, here's the magic. Let's say we have a label and our label is gonna be something like bills to pay. That's gonna be an important action, right? Let's go create. What we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to customize. We're gonna customize the multiple inboxes. And in a new section, we're gonna say label and then a colon and then type in the label name. So bills to pay. And I'm gonna give it a label bills to pay. So when I hit save, we should have bills to pay. Ta-da, there we go. Now here's the process. An email comes in, we've got one here from Sarah. And uh-oh, this is a bill that we need to pay. We can move using the move button into bills to pay. Ta-da. And that email has moved out of our inbox and it's now sitting in bills to pay. So what we're doing here is we're adding context to our emails, but we're also able to see them visually as well. 
and it effectively gives us like a bit of a to-do list for each category or, or context that we want to create. Now, some that may be good examples. You've got bills to pay. It might be, I need to delegate this to my team. It might be, you know, I'll get to this later. It might be, I need to run a report before I reply to that. It might be, I need to unsubscribe from this newsletter. Whatever we want, we can create as action labels. If you are having someone else manage your mailbox, like I do with Gypsy, Gypsy will manage the inbox, that's her responsibility, and then she'll put emails into the Peter to Action folder. So inside my own mailbox, so you can see inbox, start is there, Peter to Action is here. So anything that G uh, Gypsy puts in there, it sits in Peter to Action, and then all I need to do is open up either on my phone or on my email, and open up Peter to action, and then I've read it. Now, for example, I open up on, all right, so we have an auto response from someone. Let's say I've replied to this email and I've said, thank you, blah, 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 blah. This email is dealt with now. If I wanna remove it from that list of emails, I just remove the label. So I remove that label, and then it's gonna disappear from that Peter to action list. It's now gone. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack, or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.